What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are in the deep dark for a very special video. Not too long ago the 1.19 update came out and with it the Warden. Now of course this has been out for a while but a lot of people are still wondering all the facts about the Warden. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the Warden and going over everything you need to know about it. The first thing you need to know about the Warden is how it's triggered. So these right here are skulk sensors and if you make any noise near them they will activate and signal the skulk shrieker right here now if the skulk shrieker is activated uh, normally two or three times then the warden is called and it'll come out of the ground in one of these skulk areas best way to not trigger these sensors is of course to avoid them at all costs but of course there is a ton of loot in the ancient cities that you're gonna want to get like that chest up there so what do you do? You use wool. As long as you use wool as your block to build up to tower, you're never going to trigger these. And of course, chests are going to trigger these as well. So if you put wool around them, nothing's gonna happen. But if we break the wool, it now triggers these sensors. So make sure you wool up every chest that you hit in the ancient cities so you don't accidentally call the warden. But now we've talked a lot about how not to trigger or how to trigger the warden. So let's talk about the actual warden itself. And to do that, we should probably get one of those in here. So through the power of editing, I managed to get myself some snowballs. So now let's trigger a warden. Now you may be wondering why I have snowballs or you may know why I already have snowballs but that is because the warden is blind. So the warden can find you through a couple different methods still, even though it is blind. It can find you through sound, which is of course what triggers all these sensors and also lets the warden know where you are, but it can also smell you as well if it gets close enough. So these snowballs are basically to trigger sounds in other locations and get the warden to follow those. Now I'm just wandering around trying to find another shrieker because that's what's actually going to call the warden. These sensors actually really don't matter if you trigger them, if there's no shrieker around to call the warden at all. And there it is. So the warden is a blind mob, as I said, it's gonna find you through sound and smell, but you also have this darkness effect on you at the same time, which makes it a lot more difficult. Something to note as well as this thing will eventually kill me is that I'm wearing full prop for netherite armor, so we'll get to see exactly how many hits it takes if you're wearing the best armor in the game. But let's use a snowball and see, we've now distracted the warden. So this is going to be your best case scenario if you do trigger the warden for getting it off your path. Of course, walking on wool is going to help as well, which a lot of these pathways are but it will smell you as well, so be sure to keep throwing it off your scent with these snowballs. Now the warden will go away if it can't find you eventually, I think after a full minute, uh, but of course it may still smell you or hear you, so you want to do your best to try to get the warden away from you. Now if you want to know about actually fighting the warden, that is going to be a little more difficult as the warden has been designed specifically so that you cannot fight it. Well, you can fight it, but you are more than likely going to lose. The warden has a couple different attacks and those attacks are going to be its melee attack. It pretty much swings the same as an iron golem. Uh, so you can just bet on its arms flying up and hitting you into the air. This is of course not great and can deal you a ton of damage. But another attack of the Warden is its ranged attack. Mojang really wanted to make sure that the Warden would be able to hit you even if you pillared up so you couldn't just cheese the Warden that way. So it has a ranged attack now, which is that right there. You can see I'm wearing full netherite prop 4 armor. I've taken two hits already. And that's how I die. There is basically No real way to beat the Warden in a fair 1v1 fight. You do have to find some way to beat the Warden. 
The most common method that I've seen so far is by just shooting arrows at the warden and continuously running away. That seems to be the best way to actually beat the warden. The warden is specifically designed to be an unbeatable mob in the game. You're really supposed to be wanting to avoid this. Of course, it is possible to kill it. You do have to be very creative and work very efficiently in order to get this thing down before it manages to kill you. So I do highly recommend avoiding this, but of course some players are still going to want to trophy chase and take this thing's head. One more thing I do want to try is seeing how quickly or how many hits it takes the Warden to melee hit me. We've tested its long range attacks. It looks like it's about three hits, but now let's test out its melee. It seems like Protection 4 actually gives you a pretty good chance against this thing. Oh. I took, I think, four hits, and I think I would have been able to take a fifth before it fully killed me. Uh, but of course it used its sonic charge attack and we got killed by that instead. But that is pretty much all there is to know about the Warden. I assume we're going to find out more about it in future updates. Maybe when we learn a little more about this structure in the center and find out if this thing is really a portal and if it is where this portal goes. I would love to get some more lore behind the Warden. I think that'd be super interesting and a great add to the game. Uh, if you guys have any more questions or any theories about the Warden's uh, past, go ahead and drop those in the comment section down below. I'd love to read through some of them uh, because there could be just really an infinite possibility of where this guy came from. And of course, there may still be some questions about him out there. So be sure to comment anything you have about the Warden down below. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, if you learned anything new about the Warden in today's video, be sure to drop a like on this video. But that is pretty much all the time that we have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We post tons of different Minecraft content. So if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy some of our others. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.